Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lavender Alchemy. You can just call me Lavender. So, first off, apologies if you can still hear that I'm a little sick. Um, I don't know why I still have, like, a bit of congestion, but it is what it is. Regardless, today what we are doing is we are creating magical girls via a randomized generator. Now, this generator just gives you, like, a prompt, and then I decided to dissect it and then apply it to magical girls. Now, I've been known to design and make a couple of magical girls here and there. You'll be seeing them on the screen. So, I am no stranger to a good magical girl. And today, I'm putting that effort and energy into creating an entire team of beautiful magical girls. With that all being said, let's get into the video. So the prompt was four magical girls with a chess motif. They're working to collect keys to save the world. With that all being said, let's get into designing these cute girls. So the first character we're going to work on is the Rose of Time. Her name is Skye. She is the leader of the group because pinks are usually the leader of the magical girl groups. Um, her chess piece is the king. Um, this motif is brought out by like little crowns in her uh, uniform as well as little chess piece um, on her bag. But at some point, like I had said, I might do more with that theme. Either way, I wanted her to be very sporty, very uh, spunky, very outgoing. So the main, the, the thing that I did was I gave her kind of like a cheerleading looking outfit. I wanted it to be flowy, but not like too frilly or big. I also didn't want it to be super restrictive. So I gave her these like nice little slits at the front so that the skirt had movement, but was restricted um, to a specific shape, silhouette. I also gave her some like little uh, shorts, on, safety shorts, because as we all know, we can't be spinning and, and stuff without safety shorts. Uh, I also gave her the braids, the braided pigtails to add to her silhouette but also to make it so that she looked more sporty. The next magical girl we're going to work on is Aqua Butterfly, also known as Kaya. Kaya is sporting a more queenly look because she is the queen chess piece. I wanted her to be very regal, have lots of layers, be very frilly, girly, because I wanted her to be have like this big bold presence because as we all know the queen chess piece tends to have like a lot of uh, presence in the game of chess. I don't know much about chess to be fair, <laughs> to be quite honest, but I wanted her to look very cleanly and very bold. So I gave her this really pretty high low skirt in order to emphasize sort of like a ball gown look to her dress because I, I thought that it would be really cute on her. So the other th elements that I wanted to add were the crown piece. I kind of looked to see what was popular as far as like crowns in the actual magical girl world, but I think this little itty bitty thing is so cute comparatively to her giant hair. It is just absolutely adorable. Um, I also gave her the same brooch on her chest that I gave the pink magical girl, which is something that you're going to see throughout the rest of the magical girls with these uh, little heart tassels at the end of all the bows. The last elements are her illusionary butterflies, as well as the fact that she has no other key other than her transformation key. The illusionary butterflies basically dust around hallucinogenic powder to give them time to make plans and stuff like that as well as the key is because she will eventually get more keys but they all start out with just the one key next we have shooting star aka hannah who is the knight chess piece Hannah is the energetic, princely character 
who's always there for her friends and is super fun and bubbly. I want to eventually give her a little bit of a redesign to give her more, like, knight elements in her design. However, I did give her longer sleeves to try and represent um, some sort of, like, arm armor, as well as longer socks to give her some leg armor. Other than that, she has a really cute, like, skirt design that goes up into what looks to be, like, a chest, in quotation marks, uh, armor. But it's just, like, this really cute crop top shirt. I also gave her the cute little horse detail for her hair barrette, which I thought was very cute. Lastly, her powers manifest as stars. They're used as kind of like a laser beam and they get per uh, flung at potential vi villains and enemies in order to defend herself and, um, you know, attack. <laughs> Last but not least is Summer Fun, aka Chloe, who I had the most trouble with. Now Chloe is the rook of the- I gave Chloe the long tassels behind her collar, uh, like I did for the yellow magical girl so that design would carry over. I also gave her this very cute high-low skirt like the blue but a little bit shorter to make her, uh, the elements of her a little bit more playful, maybe a little bit more young. I just overall wanted her to be a little bit cuter, a little bit more fun, a little bit more rambunctious, because apparently she was going to be trouble regardless of what I did. <laughs> I also gave her a little rook detail in her hair, as well as on her bag like I did all the other characters. I also gave her a little rook detail in her hair, as well as on her bag like I did all the other characters. As for her power, she can manifest flowers, which basically turn the villains into a bloom. That's, that's what it does. Thanks so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, comment, do all that jazz to help small artists like myself. Please remember that I do have a coffee where you can get updated, you know, shenanigans for me. Like newest um, sketches, what it is that I'm currently doing. Um, I even will give you updated timelines and events like where I'm going for this convention that I keep mentioning. Um, I also will be posting like custom content as well as like content that you can't find anywhere else. You also get prints and stuff like that so that's super cool. If you want to watch me do character designs or just want to watch me like draw and stuff, I also have a Twitch channel that I occasionally do streams on. It's kind of here and there at the moment just because I'm super busy with work, but hopefully I'll have more time soon to be able to dedicate to that. Either way, I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you next time. Bye-bye!